Now in this section, we'll talk about different networking devices which will be used to set up a network. Like in the previous section, we have seen some basic overview on the network. Network is the interconnection of your devices to share the information and the resources. Now in this section, we get into more in details on what are the different types of devices we use like switch, uh, access point, routers, and firewalls, and then IP phones. And also we will talk about some of the small devices which we use in our home internet connections. So let's get started with the first device, switch or a hub. Now, uh, hubs are something not really used in today's networks, uh, but we'll talk about more in details on what are the drawbacks of the hubs uh, in a separate section called switching concepts. Now, hub or a switch is a device which provides a centralized location where you can connect all the computers. Like take an example, I got some computers in the LAN and I have some four computers or five computers and I want to ensure that these four, five computers, whatever I have, I want them to communicate with each other. Now I'm going to take one cable and we are going to bring one cable which is going to connect from switch to PC, switch to PC, switch to PC, like this. Now switch is a device which provides a centralized location where we can connect all the computers in the LAN. Because possibly if you have a big network, we cannot connect them each other directly. We need to connect everything to a centralized device. Now uh, we'll be using some Cisco switches here. We'll talk about that more in detail, but here we are getting into some basic introduction. What is, uh, what are these devices and what they do exactly. So when you talk about LAN, local area network, it's really important that uh, switch is a very important device, which will provide you the connections. Now in simple words, we can say without switch or a hub, we cannot build a LAN. If you have some four to five computers or more than that, switch is a mandatory device which is used in any company networks. Now the next thing we may we may have also have some other device called access point in your company networks where you can also connect your computers. You can see I got some computers here or laptops or a desktops or it can be a mobile phones. We can connect these devices to a centralized device via without a wire so we are going to connect the devices without a wire and that's that's what access point will do now access point will do the same job of a switch where we can connect our computers in the lan but without having a wire we can connect through wireless now this will have some uh, wireless antennas we call it as access point it is going to radiate some signals within the area and as long as you have your computers or within the coverage area we can have connection between them without a wire so in this kind of scenarios we use access points now uh, typically you'll find wide network wide lan or wireless lan two different types of networks now the next important device we need to know is cisco routers or not generally routers we call it them as now router is a device which is used to provide a WAN connection. Now WAN, uh, like take an example, I got a branch office in, in India here, in Hyderabad, in India. I got a branch office and I got another branch office in Dubai. Now I want to ensure that these two different branches should communicate with each other. Now probably I need to, I need to connect because within the LAN, we are going to set up via switch a LAN and there's one more LAN here and we want these two different LANs to talk to each other. Then what we'll do is we'll take a router. Uh, physically, it looks like this, a flat box, but diagrammatically, when we represent, we represent like this. Now we're going to connect them to the router and we connect them to router to router. We take a WAN connection given by the service border. We'll talk about more on connectivity in the later on sessions. Here, we are just trying to understand the basic functionality of the each and every device. Now, router is a device which provides a WAN connection where you can connect this device to the LAN as well as to a remote location called WAN. Now, in simple words, we can say that if you want to set up your own WAN connections or if you, if you want to connect to a different location or a different LAN, we need a router. So, router is a device which provides a WAN connections on a different, two or more, it, which connects two or more different LANs. Now the next important device we have is Cisco firewall or a normal firewall we can say. Now firewall is something, 
Now, firewall is a device which which is going to protect your network from external threats. Like, uh, take an example. I got a small LAN here, and this LAN is connecting to some other branch offices here. Maybe this is my Hyderabad branch office, and I got another city, Bangalore branch office, and everything is working fine. Now, this branch office also connects to internet. Like every organization connects to internet. Now, internet is the biggest network where everyone is connected. Now, there is a possibility that there is an attacker sitting here on on some some location. Will try to because as he is connected, he will try to access the resources in my LAN, or maybe he can he can try to send some some kind of virus programs or some codes which can impact the performance of your network, or it can make your network down. And we really don't want these things to happen. Now to now to provide security for your network, what we can do is we can configure a firewall, a separate device called firewall, uh, which is going to filter some unauthorized packets. Now in production networks, if you want to secure your network, probably what we'll do is we are going to provide we are going to configure a device called firewall, which is going to filter each and every packet. So it's going to check each and every packet. and is going to figure out what are the authorized and unauthorized packets and it will ensure that any traffic which is supposed to come from outside it will not come back it will not uh, enter into your lan and it will only ensure that your traffic going will come back the return traffic we can say so it's a more security device which will do a lot of things like like uh, preventing the unauthorized access or verifying the packets keeping some some information on that but in simple words we can say firewall is a device which provides secure security for your lan it provide it prevent some it prevent from some un unauthorized access uh, into unauthorized packets getting into your lan so uh, cisco also develops these devices we got a different vendors in the market who develops these devices but whatever the vendor the firewall will do this job like uh, it will prevent some unauthorized access we can see the snapshot this is a cisco a firewall cisco's firewall it looks like this now the next one more one more device we have something called ip phones ip phones or or typically you know uh, it will allow you to send vo ip voice over ip like take an example i got a branch office in india and i got one more branch office in us here and i want to ensure that Uh, this, I have a continuous voice communication or voice traffic going between these two different branch offices. Now, to send your voice, either you can use a normal telephone lines, which we use for for making calls. Probably in the production network, we we may not use them. So, what we'll do is we can connect one kind of phone called IP phones. Now, these IP phones are more similar to your normal land normal phones which you find in your uh landline phones we can say which the the basic difference is these phones can get an ip address more similar to a computer they can be connected in the lan to a switch we can connect some ip phones here on both the ends and we can allow your voice traffic to go over the existing network which is built for sending and receiving the data like initially when you talk about any networks Uh, like networks are only meant for receiving sending and receiving the data and sharing the resources but now in today's network the net uh, using the same network we can make some voice uh, voice over ip we call it as a voice over internet protocol where we can allow or send a, send and receive some voice as well as videos like we can we can have some online access to the videos or we can we can have some video conferencing applications like skype or uh, different applications we have on the internet which will allow you to uh, have an voice and video as well now typically uh, that's that's what this ip phones are going to provide these phones can be connected to the switch and you can send and receive the voice signals over the existing network which is built for sending and receiving the data now this is another device you may find in the networks Now let's talk about another device which you will find in your home internet connections. Now probably uh, we we refer that device with some different names. 
but uh, we call it as a wireless router or some internet router or DSL router, something like that. But it will do multiple jobs here. Now the router which you'll find in your broadband connections or home internet connections, it has inbuilt multiple features. Now it has inbuilt some ports, which we call them as LAN ports. Now using this LAN port, it is, it is doing a job of a switch here, where you can have some computers connected. If you have some four computers, now most of the wireless these devices supports four ports. That's what I have seen, or it can be less or more than that, depending upon the brands. Now this, these ports are more similar to a switch where we can connect some, some computers in the LAN. And then, and then it also have some one kind of port we call it as a WAN port. Mostly it will be like RJ45 or, or it can be RJ11 kind of connector where you can have, a, if you're using a telephone operator or DSL cable connections, it will have RJ11, it varies. Now, whatever the connection coming from the service border, ISP will provide you the connection and that connection comes over here. And this is what we call as WAN port or in simple words, it is doing the job of a router where you can share the internet connection. Like normally, if you take any broadband connections, the service portal will provide you the line and you can only use any one computer for internet access. Now, if you want to share that connection with multiple devices, we can take the line and we can connect to a router and then the router connects to a switch and we can share the internet connection with multiple users in the LAN because the router will be, um, we are taking the connection on the router and then we are sharing it to multiple devices. But in the normal home home internet connections or the home home devices, if, if the people are not really technical, you know, it, it's not a possible job to get a separate router, separate switch and separate wireless device. So instead we use this device which has inbuilt a router feature and also it has an inbuilt switch feature to share the internet connection. And also the good thing is it also have some antennas or it is going to generate some radio frequency signals or we can say wireless signals which will allow you to connect your laptop or it can be a mobile phone we can connect it to the network and we can we can we can share the internet connection in between multiple devices now the good thing is it has an inbuilt switch and a router and a wireless device like it has a built-in access point it's doing a very basic job of access point and a very basic small switch and a router. So it has all the three, three features inbuilt in that. So that's something what we use in our home internet connections. And the ports might vary depending upon uh, the type of the type of the connections you are using or type of the modems we are using or it depends. Like it also, if you're using some, uh, some broadband connections through DSL operators, telephone operators, it also have an inbuilt modem which will convert your uh, audio signals or or the analog signals to digital signals as well so it will do a lot of jobs so we got some different devices we have like a switch is a device which provides a centralized location where you can connect all the computers in the lan and then we got some access point which provides uh, connectivity in the lan without a wire and then the routers or the devices which are used to build up a WAN connection and, and there is a firewall which provides security when it connects to internet. And then we got some IP phones for VOIP, voice over internet protocol, sending a voice traffic over the existing network which is built for, for sending and receiving the data. And then in, the, in your home internet connections we use some some kind of device which has an inbuilt switch and a router and a wireless antenna which will which will uh, provide some wireless connections where we can connect some 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 device like mobile phones laptop without a wire 